the wild parties, the drunkenness, the, oh baby, just one kiss. The replacement girl, the promiscuous, the five-year-old who balls his fist as he walks down the street in darkness. To the too busy mother and no good father, to the kids in Africa with no water. What will we say to them? Nothing, just silence. Silence to the girl who can't tell the difference between love and sex. Who's carrying his baby but he won't accept? Silence. To the boy who watched his brother's life get taken by another. Silence. You judge them, slander them, they ask how can you be a Christian? And yet you stay silent. You see, we judge more than we witness and speak before we listen. We have to feel him to draw near to him. We seem to forget. We don't need to feel him to worship him. We have a choice like Adam did, to live right or to live in sin. And yet we stay silent, judging more than we witness and speaking before we listen. See, this generation is constipated with sin, where they can't depend on someone they once called their friend. The devil is deceiving us, making us feel worthless, drowning in doubt, filled with pain, feeling we lost more of ourselves than we can gain. Silence. We need to be obedient because someone could have really needed it. Needed to know that before she stuck that gun in her mouth and pulled the trigger, that God's love for her is way bigger than she could ever imagine. And yet we're silent. As he gets violent, slapping her around, as he thrusts her to the ground, the sound of her voice is nothing but a mere sound. Another sound of an innocent, another cry of an innocent soul crying out to the heavens. Mm -mm -mm. As she stands on the street corner trying to get money the easy way and ends up dying with AIDS, why are we still silent? To those who grew up in the church choir, who grew up in the church, excuse me, singing in the church choir and still got the nerve to curse, why are we still silent? We're supposed to be salt and light in the world, right? Then why do we gossip, gossip about him because he's bi? By the scriptures we must abide. To ourselves we must die. Let's get rid of our selfish ways and live for him as if he's coming today. Enough religion. Let's walk with him. Talk with him. Have that relationship with him. Before you know it, he's going to come like a flash of lightning. Silence is a deadly sin. It happens when you hold everything within. So, my question for you today is, how long have you been silent? Thank you. God bless.